This is VOA News via remote. I'm Diane Roberts. A shooter killed two people and wounded four others in a gun attack near a Kurdish cultural center in Paris Friday, the prosecutor's office said. AP correspondent Karen Chamas reports. A 69-year-old has been arrested and France's prosecutor's office has opened a murder investigation. Police had cordoned off the area in the 10th arrondissement of the French capital. The Paris Police Department had warned people to stay away from the area. I'm Karen Chamas. Finland's Moscow embassy has asked Russia to guarantee the safety of the diplomatic mission. This follows an incident earlier this week in which masked persons threw sledgehammers into the embassy yard, the Finnish foreign ministry said on Friday. The White House says a private Russian military company has taken delivery of an arms shipment from North Korea to help bolster its forces as it fights side by side with Russian troops in Ukraine. White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby said Thursday that U.S. intelligence officials determined that North Korea completed an initial arms shipment to the Wagner Group that included rockets and missiles last month. The White House expresses alarm about Wagner's growing involvement in the war. North Korea again flatly denied it has shipped munitions to Russia. The A's are 68, the nays are 29. Under the previous order requiring 60 votes for the adoption of the motion to concur in the House Amendment to the Senate Amendment, number four with an amendment is agreed to. Senate Appropriations Committee Chairperson Patrick Leahy announcing passage of a $1.7 trillion bill to finance federal agencies through September, aid Ukraine, and provide assistance to communities recovering from natural disasters. This is VOA News. Thousands of flights were canceled and homeless shelters are overflowing amid one of the most treacherous holiday travel seasons the U.S. has seen in decades. Some places have experienced temperatures plummeting 50 degrees Fahrenheit within a matter of hours. Forecasters expect a bomb cyclone to develop late Thursday into Friday near the Great Lakes. That occurs when atmospheric pressure drops quickly in a strong storm. President Joe Biden has warned Americans to take the storm seriously. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Thursday the Taliban are sentencing Afghanistan's women to a dark future without opportunity by banning them from attending universities. VOA's Marissa Melton has more. Many people waiting at the border hoped entry would be easier after a December 21st deadline. That is not the correct story. We'll get to that momentarily. An increase in COVID-19 cases in China has one neighboring country taking additional precautions. AP correspondent Donna Warder reports. India has begun randomly testing international passengers arriving at its airports because of the increase in COVID-19 cases in China. India's health minister announced the new rule Thursday and is asking state governments to increase surveillance for any new COVID variants and to send samples of all positive cases to genome sequencing labs. The health ministry says right now India has about 3,400 coronavirus cases, but the public is still being asked to wear masks even though there's no mandate. I'm Donna Water. And once again, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Thursday the Taliban are sentencing Afghanistan's women to a dark future without opportunity by banning them from university. Here's VOA's Ver Marissa Melton. Speaking at a news conference, Blinken said the Taliban-run administration will fail in its efforts to improve relations with the rest of the world unless the militants reverse their ban. The decision that uh, we just um, heard come from uh, the Taliban on denying opportunities for, uh, uh, for women to go to universities, uh, girls to go to school. I think what you've already heard is a chorus of condemnation from around the world, and not only from us, uh, but from countries, uh, virtually every continent, including uh, Muslim countries, which I think is in and of itself important and powerful. Marissa Milton, VOA News. Shell said Friday it will pay 15 million euros to Nigerian farmers to compensate them for damage from pipeline leaks. A Dutch appeals court ruled last year, following 13 years of legal battles, that Shell's Nigerian branch must pay out for a series of leaks and that the parent company must install new pipeline equipment to prevent further devastating spills. Via remote, I'm Diane Roberts, VOA News.